is done and dusted. Going into the second one now, John De Christie takes on Malaysia's Aung Tse Yong, the fifth seed from Indonesia, will come in here as favourite. But Aung Tse Yong has been a bit of a giant killer, not just in this tournament, but this year. First place in the final is up for grabs. In this one. I think this is going to be a really fascinating affair. Aung Tse Yong is really going places. And he's starting to show what he can do. Tell you what, he's already overhauled the Li Zijia in the uh, Road to Paris rankings. But there's your bracket at the moment to keep an eye out for Christy or Aung. to make it into this final first spot. <laughs> Lizzie Jia is 16th in the world. And Tsuyong is 20th. He's a big favourite here, John De Christie. We saw the Indonesian crowd earlier, didn't we? Now. He's not going to quite overhaul Lizzie Jar here. Aung Tse Yong, but he's certainly going to narrow the gap between the two. And the trajectory is upward for him at the moment. Three times I've met, twice Christie has won. Black, twice. Decide, surface, surface. But important to note that uh, yeah, while he is uh, Antoyong won the last of their meetings, there the Malaysian contingent. Yeah, he won the last time they met at the Australian Open in the round of 16 just last month. Antoyong. Jonathan Christie is 26 from the capital Jakarta, 179 centimetres tall. Sixth in the world, but he has been higher at world number two. That was at the start of this year. He has uh, he's beaten two Hong Kong players along the way. Angus Hong Kong pushed, wasn't he, quite far. A long match against Lee Chuk Yu, though. He won that in the end. And then Lee Chao Hao, the, another giant killer. Who actually did quite well in that match. But uh, Christy showing his experience. Aung Tse Yong is from the south of Malaysia, Johor, 180 centimetres tall, slightly taller than his opponent, playing at his best ranking. He's having a very good time of it at the moment, isn't he? he hasn't won the World Tour yet. Men's singles, silver medals from the Commonwealth Games last year. He's not dropped a game so far, but look at some of those names he, that he has taken out. Zhou Tianchen, of course, sticks out, the seventh seed from Chinese Taipei, then Katasune Yama. And a pretty straightforward one against uh, Magnus Johansson. Looking for his first ever appearance in a World Tour final. Victor Wong from Hong Kong is our umpire. Glory Leung from Hong Kong, our service judge. Uh, yeah, for Christie, he has won plenty in his time in singles. He's the current Asian Games uh, champion. Play. He'll be defending that one in uh, Hangzhou, not far from here, in a few weeks' time. Asian champion silver medalist last year in Manila. Sea Games gold medalist in 2017. They're the Indonesian fans. 
And uh, on the World Tour, he has won four titles. Indonesia Masters earlier this year. Swiss Open in 22. Australian and New Zealand Opens in 2019. Dante Young. Celebrating what could be a happy Malaysia Day today. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Ng Ziyong, Malaysia. And on my left, Jonathan Christie, Indonesia. Well, if we had a, a meter to measure who reserve. is getting more support, it would be very clearly Jonathan Christie. Right. Nice start there from Christie. A passing shot. Lovely bit of deception there from uh, Ng. Great reactions from Christie. Oh, he hit that a little too early. Two, look. He's really been uh, someone to watch out for until so young. There was this element yesterday as he brushed aside Magnus Johansson, 21 18, 21 12. So that's over. Christy wants to avenge two. the loss that they, when they last played in Australia last month. The last time he made a semi final in the Super 500 was the India Open. In uh, 2022. Two all. Already change of racket for Christie, who's quickly bounced back. And Young has never been to the Hong Kong open before. Three, this is his two. first one for Jonathan Christie. He's been out in the semi finals previously in 2019, so hoping to go at least one further. Got some quarters in 2018. Malaysian. Three all. Yeah. Got down well there, Christy. Not this time. Four, we have three. some of the Malaysians. Yang <laughs> Young on the World Tour has uh, only ever been to two semi finals. The Open last year, as I mentioned, and the Australian Open in 2022. He lost both of them. Pot. Looking for a third time lucky here, but it's Christie who's just won that point. Service over. Four all.
Uh, it's looking mobile. Five, four. Nice stop drop there from him. Get a bit of disguise. Lovely cross-court smash from Christie. Six, four. Okay, check. So I told you about two semi-finals for... And so young. It was almost, uh, I think it was almost a body shot, which is what he was apologising for. Four. Moves up to three in front. John christie has been in 23 semi-finals. He's won 13 of them, lost 10. His last semi-final last week, of course, against Victor Axelson at the China Open. He won the two before that, the Japan Open and the Indonesia Masters. <laughs> Starting to look. This could be Sober, Sober. a nutritional battle. Let's see. Five, seven. He's looking to play his shot, so that's on that far side with the drift behind him, as uh, you would expect someone to play. On the front foot, on that side at least. So that's over. Eight, five. Three clear here. Christy. Have a check. Ying Xiong. Ying Xiong. Ying Xiong. A check. Now Christy. Okay, has thank played. You. Of course, Malaysians in the past. As long as you face in the semi final. Just one before. Sungju Ven. Thailand Open in 2017. He won that. Overall, against uh, Malaysians. He's faced them 28 times, won 21 of the 28 attempts. 28 matches against Malaysians. Lose four clear here. Nine, this could be pivotal five. in this first game. Five as much as against Malaysia. I thought that might be Moon it. Moon Young challenges. Call out. Tiong Bill, that is in. It is out, isn't it? Well, as you heard from uh, Kirsty Gilmore yesterday, our One challenge guest remaining. commentator, when it goes onto the far end, if you're challenging it. Ten. Five. You're likely to not get it right. Play. Basically, if you're challenging and it's closer to you to make that call, you're more likely to get it right. That uh, sounds obvious enough. Well, that sounded good. That looked good. 11, five. And it's been a nice run here for John De Christie. He leads by six after a decent start from Ung Young.
20 seconds. 20 seconds. Coaches, return to your chair. Eleven five. Play. from Christie and again can he finish oh the chance was there well that's been the best rally of this match in its early stages and he knows it and he can't believe he has missed that chance he had Unto Young there didn't he at his mercy he reacted so, so well a couple of times Six. 11. And we saw this from Christie yesterday against Nietzsche Howe. We've got a number of unforced errors like this. And it seemed easier to get it over. I think a look of amusement from So Young. He's been given a bit of a let off there. So Young. Well, they were at 4 all earlier so he's won seven of the last nine points John and Christie it's been a good period from him sometimes the interval though can disrupt that let's see how he goes nice height on that well well why that one because what's got the drift that's what Antoyong is going to want him to do. He's going to try and force him to lift Seven, and clear. 11. Because that would be risky. In these conditions. This is a nice little Eight, fight back from uh, 11. And so, yo, three points in a row since the interval. isn't he well this has been excellent from into young He really has shown tremendous Ten, fighting 11. spirit. We've seen this time and again from him in this tournament. Look at that. That is tremendous. Okay, back on court. And that was uh, a gamble by Christie. Reminder again, at the interval, Christie was leading 11-5. He's won five in a row here. And so young. Right on Christie's tail now. And he's leveled it. The Malaysian is looking good. Yes. He's to 
dispatched it beautifully. Eleven all. Six points in a row for to Young, mate. We'll lose one this one now. Finally. That run is broken. Service over. After six consecutive 12, points, 11. Christy. Doesn't let go of the lead. But he'll have been a bit stung by that. Well done there, uh, Christy. He's just trying to build up that lead again. That's out. Maybe I've gone cross court there, perhaps. Service over. 12, 13. Went for the uh, harder side, had less court to aim at, as it were. The easier shot would have been to go cross court in that sense. The shot with more percentage, should we say? Yeah. Uh, he had to readjust until he uh, looks. Uh, he looks like he knows he probably. So we've got anything out of that anyway. 14, 12. <laughs> yeah, he's got a little cheeky grin on his face. So Christie is uh, still in front here. Three points clear now. Christy, remember, he was enjoying a six-point lead earlier. Now, that was just a little too far away from Ung Tzu Yong. And all that hard work is slowly 17, getting undone. 12. Post interval. Quick, quick. Wait the call, please. He's back to the sort of lead he enjoyed at the interval. Yeah, he just stepped in, but it was veering away from him, wasn't it? Okay, in the you. shuttle. Reminder again at the interval.
It was uh, John De Christie that was leading. Yeah, he's having problems now. He's stretching his opponent really nicely. John Christie, who's leading 11-5 at the interval. 18, So that six-point lead that he enjoyed at the break, he has now fully restored it. And the score since yes, the break has uh, now shifted a little in Christie's favour. It's... Seven all after trailing in the post interval session. Use tower. Well, that's really nicely done. You just make Chris a little nod of approval, really. Service over. 13, 18, yes. He was expecting one thing, they were just retreating, wasn't he? Well, that was well long, wasn't it? Service over, 19. 13. Seven so over. Fourteen, nineteen. They talked about consistency until young. young. Oh, the lights. Okay, somebody will handle. Okay. There was a little flashlight issue in the uh, crowd. Which has now been sorted out. <laughs> Looking to battle back here. 15. 19. Like he did earlier. Oh. Now, the shades of what happened post interval. Remember, 16, it was 19, 19, 12. He's now won. Sorry, 18-12. He's won four of the last five points here. Ung Tse Yong. Start to get a little tight once again. Okay, thank you. Look at the Indonesia fans, they need to get right behind. John to Christie here. He wants to get to 20 and knows that once he's there, Unta Young has zero 19. margin for error. A tumbling shot is one that you just cannot return. There's only two in 19. this. Oh, well. To Young twice now has faced big deficits. And he's done really well on both occasions, though this one still ongoing. Big challenge by Jonathan Christie. Christie challenges. Call I'll tell you what, out. if Ota Young gets through this one, and the challenge is unsuccessful, he'll only be a point behind. 
This is huge in the context of this game, uh, maybe even the match. This puts Christian to game point. And he's returned the shuttle. That's interesting from Oteo. Oh, ho, ho! Challenge and successful. One challenge. Wow, remaining. that is very, very tight. 18-19. Well, well, well. Unta Young thought he'd lost that one. This has been, again, superb. How he has done it, I do not know. Twice in this match, he has faced six-point deficits. On both occasions, 19 he has fought the top, please. back to level. That is absolutely incredible. So if we go back to the interval. Thank you. Where he was trailing. 11, 5 11. It is 14 8 in Ung Tae Yong's favour since the interval. Seven of the last eight points. Oh, what a time. Every time he's drawn level on these two occasions where he's fought back from six points down, he has 20 game points, not been able to take 19. the lead. And Christie has game point here. Can he finish off? He does in the end. It'll be both happiness and a you know, puff of the cheeks. Relief as first well. Because Ng Tae Yong has pushed him all 19. the way. What a first game this has been. He looked dead and buried on two different occasions, Ng Tae Yong. But he just stuck in there. Jonathan Christie, though, who takes the first game. 21-19. It's taken almost half an hour to do that. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Back on court. Second game. Level. Play. Oh. One love. Well, yeah, this is uh, again similar to what we saw in the uh, previous match in the men's doubles. The first game very, very tight. 
Same scoreline, 21-19. Sorry, same uh, marginal victory, I should say, two points. Service over. One, all. Oh. Good, actually. No, it's out. It's out. Two, one. <laughs> Skimming the net. On the shuttle there from Christie. Service over. Two all. Young will have learnt a few things, and let's see how he copes on this end now, where he's also got to play on the front foot. So Christie's going to find it just a Three. little tougher here oh. on this side. If he's sorry, a little uh, easier here, he can push right through everything. But he's got to be careful about where he lifts, where he clears. Too close to the net, and uh, there's almost no chance of returning if uh, Antion gets it over. Lovely. Again, just keeping him wide of his opponent, stretching him. Four, to your three. Listen, that a good area. Now, while he's lost that first game, there'll be some Change. very pleasing things for him as to how he's approached it, how he's fought back. It's definitely on him now, but he has to win this. Five, three. Has to win this to stay in the game, stay in the match. Flick serve. And it's out. Serve us over. Well, with the uh, Four, the five drifter. Behind him, there's always a little risk of that happening. <laughs> yeah, just a so wince over. there from Christie. Six, four. So Young maintains that lead now. Seven, four. He didn't really have a lead at all. This is the biggest lead he's had so far in the match. Can he build on it? Service over. Five, seven. Okay, we have the call, please. Also.
it's gone a little bit long there. Let's have us over. Eight, five. to maintain that cushion as much as he can. Fort. Nine, five. Yeah, four points, he'd be quite happy with this right now, wouldn't he? At the moment, Christie. Service over. Not quite where he wants to be. Six, nine. of high depth on that one. Great placement from Christie. Seven. Really important that nine. one. Great shot, but it was too far back away from it on the turn. Eight, nine. Wipe the clock. And Christy himself having a bit of a, a fight back now. Okay, back on court. Thank you. Well, Christie's done well, isn't he? Not quite the same sort of deficit that that's a young faced. Now, can you go in front? Something that I failed to do in the previous game. Yeah, up to two. Not play the full jump smash. A bit of disguise on that. Ten, nine. So it's Ong Young still in front. He's uh, pretty much maintained that lead. Short brief moment though. It was uh, Christie who drew level. Well, Ong Young just in front here, level nine in game two though. It's Christie who's won that first game.
Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Coaches, return to your chair. Level nine. Play. Change. Service over. Ten, eleven. He just wanted to remove some of the shuttle. He's also looking to be a thorn in the side of his opponent here. Drawn level again for the second time. Just in. Once again, Inti holds the clock, off please. the advances of Christie when they're all square. And, uh, Change. Given the blustery conditions, as Service it were, over. on that side, 12, you would have thought that 11. one just carried it over. Quick tower. Over. Again, all square. All. So finally, Christie is back in front. Remember, he's been behind it. 12. For quite some time now. He's been trailing since Victor Young was 4 3 up. Then it was as high as 9 5 for a while. Oh, wonderful from Victor Young. He's still going here. Finally, Christie wins that point, but Ota Young did so well to get some of those shots. One in particular was memorable. 14. And it's 12. Christie who wins the point. It was so difficult to get right at the bottom. You got it. Okay, back one step too far for him.
Oh, wonderful from Christie. This time, he doesn't make any mistakes. He had a position on that in the uh, first game, which he didn't take advantage of. And this is a really good run from the Indonesian. I mentioned he was 5'9 down earlier. 12. He's done so well to get back. Ten three he has won. Ten of the last thirteen points he's won to swing this around. And Ngo has to do something soon here. The momentum clearly with the Indonesian. That's good. And he'll feel the pressure and he might be facing lifting just a little. 16, 12. Change. Frustrating. 16. So Young has been in this sort of situation before. Uh, quick, We've seen quick him wipe. show a real strength of character. Quick tower and back on court. Okay, thank you. to give up and that's been something I think we've seen what the cop is a lot more of him 15 16 Are you just feel that's determined as we said to show that a bit more consistency when you beat some of the players that he's beaten recently changed as you said he yes. can still improve a lot just wants to be right amongst it This has been really good from Ng Tzu Yong. Now, he has shown 
he is not to be dismissed. Remember, a short while ago, Christie was feeling the pressure might have been just a little lifted. And Tante Young moves in front. Oh, what a turnaround this has been again. How many times have we had that shift in momentum? 17-16. Reminder, it was 16-12. He's had five points in a row here, Unto Young. Jonathan, you check. We talked about the big swing in Christie's favour. However, what we must also stress is that in that first game, when Unto Young put on a fantastic run, it was Christie who showed the strength of character here to really push through and that's uh, the sign of a really experienced 16. good player someone who's been right at the very top at the right time to peak at the business end of a game can he do it here until you're going to force a third oh that's really nicely done can he finish off yes he can took the weight right off that one Service over. 17 all. Get back on court. Still more twists and turns you feel in this one. in there, Unser Young using soft hands himself. Service over. <laughs> he edges 18, that one. 18, 17. Check. Well, this is uh, really riveting stuff. Over. 18 all. And then immediately it is Christie who does the business. Quick towel. the net so enough depth on that shot there isn't Doesn't take the chance there. Christie hits the net. And we're all square at 19 all. This Service is over. very wipe the ball, please. Once again, very tight, just like it was in the first game. 
19-0. Looking to finish this in two. They're the Malaysian supporters. Okay, thank you. Remember, he was 16-12 up. It's been 7-3 in Ng Yong's favour. Seven of the last ten have gone his way. Attack that serve. <laughs> Got down well, Christy. And he comes out on top. It's Ota Young into the net. The call, and we have our first match point. Service over, 20, match point, 19. Okay, thank you. He's got that in. Oh, that is Christy challenging it. I'm pretty sure that is in. And that's one of those, uh, well, I've got plenty of challenges right at the end of the uh, game, potentially the match. I might as well use it. Yeah. We're all square now. And we need a winner by two clear points in this game. One challenge remaining. Service over. Twenty oh. Get ready. He wants a bit more uh, assistance on the court. Looking at the umpire for some support here. Wipe, please. And he's going to get it this time. Okay, thank you. Well, they're outnumbered, the Malaysian fans, hey. but I think you also had some uh, local fans also supporting that. Christy converts. Oh, some contention perhaps Service on what was over. done here. Let's have a look. 21. Oh, 20. That looks to be. <laughs> looks like it could have been on one side. There's a little groan from the crowd. <laughs> It's all very tough, isn't it? Split-second decision to be made. That gives another match point to Christie. Well, they might feel that justice is served. Tsuyong <laughs> saves another match point. Service over. 21-0. Okay, back on court. Thank you. Change. So Ansa Young has been knocked down and he's got up again a number of times. And he's still in there. He's hanging in there. That's well out. 
And all of a sudden, it's turned Ota Yong's way. He now has... 22, a game point. 21. It is Ota Yong's moment. Okay. He's taken it to three. He was under the cost, wasn't he? He faced two match Second points. Game went back. He Ute saved Yong. them. He was trailing. 12 16. One game more. It looked to be Jonathan Christie's to take, but it's not to be. We are going into a third. We've already played just over an hour here at the Hong Kong Coliseum. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Final game. Level. Play. Well, what a game, what a match. Service over. We have had one here long. in this uh, men's semi final place in the Hong Kong Open 2023 final tomorrow at stake. It's one all here. It's a young has been absolutely brilliant. Just refuses to uh, back down. Two, love. Now we saw two very, very tight games, just like we did in the men's doubles earlier. And yet the third is one sided. And uh, as of now, that's three, what it appears to be. Love. With uh, Christie taking the first three points unanswered. Oh, great reactions from Ante Young. Amazing defense. Well, not this time. That they was it fourth or fifth time of asking. Absolutely brilliant. Captured the imagination, Lock. isn't he? Four points in a row. It's a great start here from Christie.
Got down well there, Christie. Well, this is very good for Christy. Ung to Young has to do something urgently here. Six, no. Well, he has battled back from six already. Twice he's done that in this match. In one game, in fact. It's a swing of 12 points in his favour. But this might just be Seven, a step too not. far. We'll see. We, we know we can't discount this, this man. This is the perfect start, isn't it, for Christie? And well, maybe with the change of ends going into the in the. Uh oh, it's good. Well, I don't know. I thought it was, but it's not. It's gone out. Service over. Finally, finally, Anthony Young gets his first eight. point. Has it come a little too late? He needs a run now himself. Very long, did it? Service over. Nine, one. It's a good looking rally, and it's almost a perfect one from Christie in this first half of game three. He's been cruising this 11 1. We talked about the third game being quite one sided in the previous match, and it certainly looks that way now here. But it's a change of ends at the interval. Let's see if that brings a change in fortune for Ung Tae Yong. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Coaches, return to your chair. Change. Eleven one. Now we have said it before. <laughs> we oh. Cannot discount to Run Young. Car, He's had two runs of clawing back six-point deficits. He's in those runs. He scored twelve points out of thirteen. Thank you. He would dearly, 
dearly love that right now. Okay. Um, but yeah, stringing that together in one run one. Um, is extremely Close. difficult. Though you'd say Christie just did it, so why can't Unsa Young? It's also a change of end, change of conditions. Let's see. Maximal concentration needed by the Malaysian now. It's hard as well. You've, you've got to try and keep yourself positive as much as possible. 12, Easy one. for all of us not on the court right now to say that. We're facing such a massive deficit. It's, uh, you can't, it's only human to feel a little bit disheartened. Second point. Wipe the clock, please. Of this third game so far. So it's over. Until Two, you're... 12. Thank you. He needs everything he can get. It really does. Change. Three, twelve. Service so over. 13, 12, 3. Ten point deficit back to where it was at the interval. Service over. Four, 13. do that and that's a thumbs up as well from Jordan to Christie he can only look on in wonderment we've seen a few of those kind of shots even the umpire's got a little wry smile on his face Five, have a look 13. at this one again he had no right to get there and yet somehow he has just... that is a brilliant shot just enough to take it over and that might well be the play of the day Thank you. So far. Well, look, it's coming in a difficult time for him, but sometimes you just need a turning point. You need something special to give you that impetus. He's trained by eight young to young. Again, again, when he should be favourite to make the shot, he doesn't. John to Christie. 13. Since the interval, 
it's 5-2 to Ung Tae Yong. There's still a long, long way to go. He's chipping away at that huge, huge deficit. That lead is now just seven. Well, I'll say just. It was ten earlier. Six, 13. Service over. Well, 14. The problem is six. you have to get a run. You know, a point here or there is not going to be enough. Christy can afford to drop a few and then score a few. He'll still be in a very good position. Fought. Very quickly. He's back in front by nine. 15, six. Yeah, it's too close to the body. Difficult. 16, 6. Oh, he's dropped that in beautifully, Jonathan Christie. And he just throws out some air. 17. Ooh, now surely six. he feels he's almost there in the final. against uh, Indonesians on the world tour. Service over. Won four and lost Seven. four. 17. Lost against Rustavito, Cesar Rustavito, the China Open last week when he should have won that. But he won his three prior, including beating Christie. has a very Change good record up. against Malaysians. Won 21 out of 28. Those Eight, losses last 17. two. That's Lizzie Jia and Ng Tse Yong. Looks like he's on the way to making that one. Flick serve. Nine. Does well here for Ang Tae Yong. That's out. Is there another little fight back here? The big seven points though. Ten, seventeen. It's almost. Well, he's done six before, hasn't he? Twice so. He needs to draw on that right now. Okay, back on court. Lots of fans in here right now because we've got a Hong Kong pair up next. So do stay with us. It's going to be fantastic atmosphere in here. Mixed double semi-final. Oh, that is going to be challenged. Christie, challenges, call. Again, oh. tough from his end to see, clearly. Perfect. Yeah, it's out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 11 17. 
now. Play. He has to put a run on here, really. Does that any chance of staying in this? It's a uh, young I'm referring to. And three in a row. Twelve, seventeen. Oh, excuse me, I just cracked myself. It's it was at uh, seventeen six. It's now six in a row. So he's done the six once. Oh. <laughs> so he's come, he's come on three runs of. Six points. Service over. 18, 18 points, one and 19. 12. And he needs to do it here. He needs to continue. He needs to really apply himself again. Well, the writing might now start to be appearing on that wall. Jonathan Christie. 19, 12. He's up by seven and needs just two more to wrap up this match. Which he's done. Yeah, to set up match point. 20 match points. Well, he said, ever since he's piled on the kilos, so young, just trying to bulk himself up. He feels that he's a better player. And he's certainly a bit more of a heavyweight now than he was. Not a lightweight anymore. But he's on the brink here. Service over. Being eliminated. 13-20. So John De Christie okay. has finally won this. He's gone about it the hard way. He's into his 10th World Tour final. And the third of 2023. It's been an almighty struggle. 21, the supporters have 21, been brilliant, and he's worked hard for this. But boy, Ong Tae Yong, let's give him a special mention as well. Because he fought and fought and fought and would not make things easy for his opponent. But it has been an excellent match to watch. Hugely entertaining. So he stakes his place in the final. The first one to do so in the men's singles final. John De Christie, the fifth seed from Indonesia, wins 21-19, 21-23, 21-13. He's won it in 84 minutes. What entertainment these two have provided. We're going to see a lot more of Ung Tae Yong, I'm sure, as well. Well, coming up next, it's a mixed double semi-final. This one's going to be a cracker. Gorsun Huat and Lai Shivon Jamie of Malaysia take on local stars, local favourites from Hong Kong, China, Tang Chun Man and So Ying Sweat.
So this is what's happened so far in session two of the semi-final day here at the HSBC BWF Victor Hong Kong Open.